<laughs> Ooh. There we go, everybody. All right. I think I am good now. <laughs> I hope I didn't lose everybody from the previous one. Full screen. Let's just go webcam and chat. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> hey, there's my people. Woo! <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> hey, Jomo, how are you, brother? All right, man. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, I, I hope you guys are excited to be here. I'm very, very excited for you guys to be here. Oh, uh, what's up, Bowie? And we're back. Yeah. So it turns out I was um, adjusting my camera with my camera hub. And um, yeah, it, it just. Sorry. Way too bright. 20. There we go. That's a nice balance. And we will go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, woo. All right. Okay. Welcome to the uh, 10K sub party at the Big Timber Lodge. Um, very excited for you guys to be here. <laughs> very, very, very excited for you guys to be here. Uh, I just. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm actually at 11,000 subs now. That just blows me away. Let's actually turn that down just a smidge. There we go. And I'm gonna bring up this smidge. Okay, that looks good. There we go. I am a little red in the face. <laughs> And that's due to the fact that I was on the motorcycle for about 150 miles today, riding all over Colorado. Um, it was really nice to get out. I was very excited to be on the bike. I just got a new exhaust. Well, it's not really a new exhaust. I had the CVO 2023 exhaust that was black chrome. Somebody left it at the Harley dealership, put onto my 2020 Road Glide Limited. So. All right, how, how do I do the prize drawing? Okay, help me, awesome question. So if you haven't entered in for the prize drawing yet, you just have got to email. Um, let me put it in the chat. All right, there we go. Just shoot an email with your name and the state that you live in. Uh, you need to be over the age of 18 as well. I'm not giving away any sort of like firearms or stuff like that, but I am giving away. Dun, dun, dun. I have a whole bunch of back straps from Rapid Engineering. So I have the full back straps as well as I have the beaver tail extensions. I have six of these to give away. Thought about keeping one for myself in case I want to do a Glock 48 review. I'm also going to be giving away a Big Timber Lodge t-shirt. Not this one, this is my personal one. Um, the winner of this will have to email me their name and their shirt size. Um, and then that way I can send you a Big Timber Lodge t-shirt. And then the, the big grand prize is going to be a night vision. Whew, that it's very overexposed. Um, but yeah, this is the One Leaf Commander NV400 night vision 4k rifle scope it's a beast i think these are going for like 700 dollars right now um i was sent this to review and i did an open boxing on it and i took it to the range and i just realized there was some stuff about it that made it so i don't really want to keep it and it's not that it's bad it's the fact that i got it originally to go hunting with here in colorado and i can't hunt with it so, and it's it's definitely more of a hunting night vision scope versus let's say a tactical night vision scope. It's bomb proof. This darn thing is literally bomb proof. And it has a range finder built into it, which is like super duper cool. However, since I can't hunt with this, there's no point in me having it on one of my hunting rifles. 
and I don't even want to have it outside in the state of Colorado because if I get caught with this, I could get in deep shit. They have a lot of laws, it turns out, against having electronic optics. You can use a rangefinder that's handheld, but there's not supposed to be anything other than like an illuminated reticle inside of your optic if you're hunting in the state of Colorado. So I figured I'd give it away to one of my awesome viewers. So hopefully if you hunt, that's that's the only thing that I ask for is that you're actually gonna use it because it's a very nice scope. Um, let's see, okay. Yeah, uh, you don't live in a state. Where do you live, Bamzy? Or how do you pronounce your name? Bomzy Moy, Bomzy Moy. Hey, I, I put it in the chat, man. My my, I, I here. Let me see. Oh, you live in Finland, dude. Hey, Rusty. Okay, can somebody type this into the chat for me? Since I typed it, but it didn't. It's gonna be my email to to email me at. All right. So my email is big timber society at gmail.com. B I G T I M B E R S O C I E T Y at gmail.com. <laughs> um, now you got it. Okay. So yeah, in order to be eligible <clears throat> for the drawings, it, you, you just have to be over the age of 18, live in the United States, even if you live in Alaska. So if Alaskan Ballistics is here and he wants a backstrap and he wants to try to win something you are more than welcome to join and um yeah that's it pretty much so public spelling is hard yeah really hard so what do you guys got going on right now that's that's kind of what i want to start this off with um it's been quite a wild week for me How, how's everybody's week been for yourself has it been good have you have you guys been out getting shooting have you been practicing shooting what, what's going on with that Let's bring up the discussion screen. All right. Florida for the win, nice. So what's going on in the world of Big Timber? So I have quite a bit to announce. One, I mean, obviously you guys are here because I hit 10,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Um, I'm actually at like 11,200 now. Thank you guys. It's all because of people like you. And Oh, nice. About to go live myself and some nice indie gun owners. It was great. Oof, how was the staccato? Dude, congratulations, brother. Congratulations, Jason. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. All right. There's a lot of stuff going on. Wow. So yeah, I, I hit, I hit the big number of 10 K my YouTube account kind of got out of a weird place. It was weird. It was like a week or two weeks after I hit 10 K all of a sudden, like 30 plus of my videos were demonetized by YouTube. I reached out to a friend of mine. He said, that's just YouTube. Once you hit, um, 10,000, they're going to relook through your channel, um, for videos they feel aren't as good or not suitable for advertisers or advertisers. Yep. Uh, so I'm, I'm dealing with that right now, having to learn more about minding my P's and Q's. Yep. Congratulations, Jason, on your retirement. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. I did nine years myself. I'd never retired, but thank you for that, sir. Uh, oh, a range safety officer. Congratulations, Joe Mo, Everyday Carry. Dude, get you, yeah, in Sarge, I don't know where you live, but I live in Colorado. I just submitted for my renewal in Colorado Springs um, two weeks ago, uh, which cost me like 68 bucks to renew that. Yeah, thanks, Indy. All right, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste you guys' time tonight. I know most of you here just for the prizes, so we'll get to those here shortly. I just kinda wanna share with you some of the stuff that's going on in my life. Uh, I've, I've gotten some new affiliations as an, um, content creator and some of those affiliations i kind of feel are a little sketch and so i'm going to quit posting links to their websites um you just i'm not going to mention them by name but you just won't see links to those websites anymore another thing that i would like to do too and i think that this will make my channel more enjoyable is i'm going to quit posting daily deals 
on my community tab because I'm sure you're probably sick of seeing those, you know, like, oh, wow, look at the Shield Arms S15 mag or, you know, look at this ammo that's a really good deal because I really do feel like those are good deals. I'm not just posting stuff because I'm an affiliate and I want you to click on the link and buy it. I'm posting stuff because I'm buying those things because they're good deals and I want to share those with you. But instead of posting them onto my community tab for now on, what I would like to do is start up like a weekly email where I will just email you once a week with a list of good deals that I feel like from my different affiliations. And then if you feel it's a good deal, then click on it. And then I might put just like a, you know, couple paragraph paragraph blog of what I have going on with my channel. Um, I got some good advice from the brother of the owner of Palmetto State Armory about being a gun to content creator in he said, you know, it's not if YouTube is going to shut down gun content on their platform, it's going to be when, thanks man, dude. I, I really enjoyed making that logo. It's gonna be when YouTube shuts down gun content on their platform. And he said, you know, if you're going to be successful after that happens, you need to make sure that you have a good, you know, core audience that you have ways of reaching out to them besides just through YouTube. So I have a Rumble account, but my Rumble account has earned me 55 cents. And every time I post a video on YouTube, I post it on Rumble. And it's crazy how little traction I get with Rumble, but I am gonna continue to post to there. That way, if something does happen with YouTube and they pull the plug on gun content, I'll at least be able to direct my core audience that I have emails for over to Rumble so you can still keep seeing my content. Um, I'm all about, let's be pro second amendment. Doesn't matter what side of the aisle of politics you fall on. Uh, let's just be pro second amendment because our second amendment protects all of our other amendments. There is no free speech. If you can't defend yourself from a tyrannical government, there, there, there is no, you know, uh, preventing illegal search and seizure. If a tyrannical government doesn't fear the fact that you could rise up against them. And I'm not trying to come off as like a crazy nut job or whatnot, but I am a gun content creator and I need people to stand up right now and vote, not necessarily party line, but vote to support and maintain our constitutional freedoms, especially our firearms constitutional freedoms. Because if we don't vote for those, they are going to disappear. And if the second amendment disappears, then there's nothing holding the government back from taking the rest of our freedoms away from us. Um, I see ATF agents running past his window in the background. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Let's boogaloo, fed boys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's a big thing is I do want to start up just an email, a weekly email to people. And I'm going to do, I will do like a community post like, hey, please email me here if you would like to be signed up for a weekly newsletter that has good deals. I just want to quit flooding your guys's, you know, YouTube alerts with a whole bunch of, of, sales that I see going on. Plus, I wanna make sure that I can stay connected with you if something does happen with my YouTube channel. Woohoo! I just got a new um, subscriber. Welcome to the lodge, JD. Welcome. Uh, yeah, is that vest level 4A? Yeah, damn, I love that YouTube. Sh yeah, yeah, dude, that one's great. Yeah, man. Um, Yeah, dude, I I'm back, brother. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties with my camera and I fixed it. <laughs> So that's what's going on. We're going to quit posting advertisements to the community tab, and then I will send out a weekly newsletter with good links. Another thing that I was told that I need to be careful about now that I'm growing in my channel size is actually linking stuff in video descriptions. I already knew that I could not link stuff like in the video, but I've been told now that I have to be careful about linking firearms, accessories, and stuff like that from the video description to the actual product page. Um, because I can get my channel strikes or it could be shut down that way. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that. So that's one of the reasons why I do wanna start up this weekly newsletter. So that way, if you do see something in one of my videos, you'll know where to go and find it. So that, that'll definitely be something that I do as well. If I do a video for something and I send out a newsletter, I will have a link to where you can find that. Even if I'm not an affiliate for it, there's a lot of stuff that I've been purchasing lately that I'm not getting paid for, that I'm not getting for free. And I'm very excited to bring your way. So that's another thing we'll get to here shortly. Um, another crazy thing that kind of happened in my, my personal life, this is outside of the Big Timber Lodge YouTube channel, but it's the fact that um, 
I, I am a defense contractor and the program that I work on has been around for 32 years and we just found out it's going to be phased out. So um, it's, it's kind of, oh, it's, I don't want to get emotional about it because I've been working on and off with this project for 14 years. And in my mind, it's a very important project to this nation. Uh, security, defense security. It, it has a global presence with over 8,000 users worldwide. If you've ever been in the Navy, um, any of the branches of the military, you've used our product without even maybe knowing that you used our product. Um, but it looks like it's going to be phased out because Congress can't come up with the defense budget and we can't keep making stuff for free. So I only bring that up because um, it's, uh, it's making me a little emotional right now, guys. It is because it, it's going to force me to have to find um, new employment. Um, but it's also potentially going to open or force me to open the door more to the Big Timber Lodge channel if I can get it off the ground. I know that in order to make my channel more successful and more entertaining, I need to increase the, the production quality of my channel and um, I want to do that. I, I want to do that. We want, we've want we started looking into actual like video cameras. My wife is talking about filming me and I will start filming, you know, having film her and have her incorporated more into my channel. Uh, another thing that I've done too is I've made friends with a local um, I've made friends with a local FFL that has his class three. So he does machine guns, suppressor, and he's, and he's also a gunsmith. And I, he's going to give me access to whatever firearms and suppressors he has to film with. So that's gonna be another thing that's gonna be coming here in the near future is I'm gonna start filming with, with my friend who's the FFL and he has dozens, dozens of personal suppressors and he sells a whole bunch of other suppressors and he has machine guns and a whole bunch of stuff in his armory and I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more featured items for content here in the near future and I'm very excited about that I think that that's really going to help pump up my channel um no it's not dragon man it's not dragon man dragon man's cool but this guy's actually a lot closer to my house and he has a private range out close to dragon man's him he's he owns a gun shop here in Colorado Springs with two other people. So that's going to be happening as well. Another thing that I'm, I'm, I've started to do with the channel, and I hope you guys are enjoying it, is the, um, you know, like the not daily polls, but polls about, hey, why, if you were to build a truck gun or, or shit hits the fan gun, would, what kind of gun would you choose? What kind of optic would you choose? What kind of, uh, you know, flashlight would you choose? And the reason why I've started to do that is because I want your feedback as my viewer for the type of stuff that I should be purchasing so that I can make better content for you guys. Like, for example, I asked like a good SHTF build under $2,000. Uh, what kind of rifle would you guys pick? And, you know, I threw out a couple of um, suggestions and then had the other... And surprisingly, for like a less than two thousand bucks, y'all picked the the PSA Saber. Surprisingly, overwhelmingly, at like fifty six percent. So I actually, based off of that, purchased myself a PSA Saber eleven point five inch AR pistol that I paid full price for, and I'm going to be getting that here soon. And I'm going to be doing a whole series on that rifle, and then how to build out a good truck gun. And I'm actually going to turn it into a motorcycle uh, saddlebag gun. Um, nice. Hopefully, hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to do a Jackal as well. I just, right now, um, I just found out yesterday about my job. And so <laughs> it's kind of crazy. In the previous three weeks, I just fixed up my motorcycle, bought a whole bunch of new riding gear and bought a new rifle and a whole bunch of gear to kit it out with for a, uh, you know, truck gun. And then yesterday I find out that my job is being phased out. So, <laughs> oh man. Ooh. God, please let this channel take off. <laughs> but anyways, I'm very excited to bring you guys some content. Uh, I've got some really cool gadgets that I'm going to be trying out. So I'm going to be trying out a blast defle uh, deflector. So it's a Huxworks Blasphemy, which will actually redirect the blast from the gun straight forward. And I think that's a smart move for a truck gun because I don't know if you've ever shot an AR inside of an enclosed space. And if it has a brake on it or a flash hider, 
the concussion wave that comes off yeah bro jason rad absolutely everything happens for a reason the concussion wave that comes off can make it very uncomfortable to shoot so if it's redirecting all the blast straight forward in a compensated manner it could be a great decision for a truck gun now why wouldn't you throw a suppressor onto a truck gun well technically the idea of a truck gun is that you don't have to take it in and out of the truck and you can just leave it there right and if you have a nfa tax stamp item you're not going to leave that in your vehicle that's a big no-no right that that item needs to be in your possession um or locked in a safe and and you can't just like leave it in your car i mean you don't want to get in trouble yeah dude that's how the best stories start absolutely with the unforeseen events dude so hopefully the channel can kind of take off or or you know i'm a religious person so hopefully god opens another door for our, our family here in the near future uh we have been praying pretty heavily about leaving colorado um, I want to say thank you to Brandon Herrera. He came out here last week on Tuesday and spoke at the state's Capitol building in defense of the Second Amendment because the Colorado politicians right now are trying to pretty much strip almost every right that we have as gun owners in this state. They want to make it very difficult to get a conceal and carry license, to renew a conceal and carry license. They want to make it illegal to carry a firearm in 80% of urban and suburban areas and also public parks. They want to make it, um, you want to ban like 95% of guns that are being sold in the state right now. So thank you, Brandon Herrera for coming out and, and actually standing up for the little guy here. That's cool that you were signed up to do that, man. There, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's very, well, he's, Nemo, he, he was running for, he's running for Congress. So, I mean, you've got to be well-spoken to run for Congress. Well, that's not true. Look at John Fetterman and also look at Biden. But Biden was very well-spoken when he was a younger senator. He was a very well-spoken person. And that's not right to do that to John Fetterman either. That dude had a stroke. So he, he actually spoke pretty well before he had a stroke. So, um, yeah, dude, I saw that the Illinois judge, yeah, said that. So, I mean, those those are kind of what's going on in my life right now. Um, I hope you guys are kind of excited with the content that I've been bringing you. Are there any suggestions uh, on what you would like to see? Oh, AOC is just, yeah, I mean, the, that whole goon squad that she's part of, they're all, it's like watching The View, but from DC. If they if The View was hosted in DC, it would be The Squad is, is, is who that would be. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's, let's, let's just kind of throw this out there. What are some suggestions you guys would like to see or ladies, if they're, if you're in the chat for future content, as I, as I move forward with the channel, I mean, I know you guys love the Glock stuff. I reached out to Johnny Glocks. Um, yeah, man. Oh, Killanova camping trip where you like, where you explain what items you need to survive for like three or four days in the wild. Absolutely, man, dude, I've got, <laughs> If you go back in my channel, I have like hunting trip stuff where I kind of do that. And I talk about what I do, like when I go hunting and camping, but I, I wouldn't mind doing something like that. Like if maybe it was uh, what you need to survive out in the wilderness for like four days. Um, I'm not going to pretend like I was special forces in the military. I was in the Air Force and I worked with space and missile. My last job was inside of Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station here in Colorado Springs at NORAD. So I worked in the Missile Warning Center. Um, so I wasn't special forces, but I have been an outdoorsman for the majority of my life since I was about five when I started shooting. And I've always loved fishing and camping and 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 just being outdoors and hunting. So I could do definitely something like that. I, that's my favorite type of convict or content right there. Killanova, honestly. Oh. Oh, you like you like those shorts, bro? Yeah. JD, I'm glad you like the shorts, man. I mean, we're going to keep making them. We're going to start incorporating some other gear. Maybe some, I don't know, PSA stuff. Maybe some more blackout defense stuff. I like the 945 Industries. Um, I really, I mean, I carry that. The 945 Industries holster for both my Glock 43X and my Sig Sauer Tac Ops is my primary holster that I carry with. And it's, it's funny because last week we went somewhere and i was like i don't want to wear the fanny pack when my wife's like well, what how are you going to carry your gun because she really does want me carrying a gun she carries a sig p365 rose herself um and i said i said well i'll just carry an appendix so i have a really nice txc holster 
and made custom for my TAC Ops with my flashlight, threaded barrel, and red dot. And I have the Neomag alias system. And as far as appendix goes, that's like the most comfortable that I can get because you can really adjust your ride height. And also the, the, the holsters are extremely comfortable. And dude, I was just bitching the whole day. I was bitching the whole day like, why do people do this? This is so uncomfortable. And like, I've gotten so used to just being able to throw the fanny pack on over my chest and just have it right there, you know? And like, we went to Shields and I had the pistol appendix and I was like, oh man, I gotta go to the bathroom, damn it. And then like, I had to do like the whole John Lovell thing where they were like, how do you go to the bathroom when you're wearing a holster, you know, like an appendix. So dude, I'm, I'm, I'm still a big boy, EDP every day. Man, I'm still a big boy. I just bought new riding gear, 2X. I'm a 2X in the upper part of my body, 2X gloves. And then I'm also a, a size 40 waist. So I'm still a big boy, but I did weigh in at 240 pounds today. So um, now <laughs> when I rode my motorcycle today though, I did have my 945 Industries holster on my, out, outside the waistband holster on my the rear part of my hip. I'm not even gonna lie. I was still more comfortable with the cross the chest than I was having outside the waistband. All right, so let's uh let's go ahead and give something away right now. Um, okay, let's go ahead and give away one of these Rapid Engineering backstraps. And thank you to Rapid Engineering. Rapid Engineering, if you're here, thank you so much for sending these to me to give away for the 10K sub party. So I'm gonna crack open my non-alcoholic Poppy seltzer. <laughs> All right, the way we're gonna do this is um, we'll start off with a just extended beaver tail. So this is the full length right here. And then this is the extended beaver tail. We'll start off with just the extended beaver tail. So if you need an extended beaver tail for your Glock 43X or your Glock 48, uh, I need to just did everybody well you better if you haven't submitted the email then you can't be you can't be a winner so yeah you got to be 18 years old live in the united states and you needed to have emailed big timber lodge here let me put it back in the comments big timber society at gmail.com i need you to to um email me your name and the state that you live in and you have to be 18 years old if you're the winner then we'll have a, a private email session. You'll have to send me a copy of like your driver's license uh, just so I know where to mail it to. Um, and if you have a different address, we'll, we'll deal with that later. But you just have to live in the United States. Okay, so the way this is going to work is um, I want you to type BTL <laughs> into the chat, all right? And what I'm going to do is so I'm going to point and I can see where it's pointing to on chat. And then I'm gonna turn my head and then I'm gonna count down to three, two, one. And then when I turn over, wh whoever's name it's on, I'm gonna, they're gonna be the, the winner. So, all right, go ahead and start typing in that BTL. BTL. All right, give it some time, folks. This is for a nice rapid engineering extended beaver tail that's gonna take your Glock 43X or 48 from a Glock grip to more of a 1911 stance. And it's really going to help out with that point ability as well as give you that extended beaver tail so you will not be getting slide bite. All right, three, two, one. Indie gun owners. All right, indie gun owners. Woohoo! Congratulations, indie gun owners. Indie gun owners, please shoot me an email and I'm going to set this aside with a sticky note on it with your name. I gotta write that down. Okay. At my desk. All right, actually, I could just do this really quick. Pull up a Word doc. Congratulations. Don't worry, folks. We still have five other backstraps I'm gonna be giving away. All right, uh, beaver tail. Oh. Um. And don't worry, I am paying for shipping. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, ma'am. Congratulations. All right, this has your name on it. We have a ledger going right now. So <laughs> how cool is that, guys? 
how cool is that i do it that do i used to do a lot of giveaways with stuff but it just doesn't seem like i have lately um i've actually really been enjoying a lot of the gear that i've been sent and i haven't been wanting to give it away so hey don't worry we got a whole bunch of other stuff coming on oh man yeah if, if your videos are way behind you need to refresh your videos refresh and make sure you're live with me yeah yeah man congrats cheers everybody uh, so what are your thoughts all right let's stir the pot here before we do our next giveaway what are your thoughts about the ken hackathorn you know ken hackathorn gate stating that a flashlight should not be on your carry pistol because i made a video about a year ago about why a flashlight or a barrel extension should be on your 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 personal pistol nice man richard that's awesome yeah i do think it was out of touch time for a cocktail absolutely guys that's awesome yeah reloading is it richard i haven't gotten into the world of reloading i shoot too much man i shoot too like i do too much like semi-automatic stuff to like really care about reloading and getting it dialed in but sometimes i think it would be nice to stock up on those supplies yeah that's awesome that's funny that's funny that that guy's light went flying but richard i was going to ask has it has reloading prices come down because i know for a while there during the whole rona uh reloading was almost as expensive as um you know actually just buying ammunition and it was like almost impossible to find primers according to my friends now also too you might have had a different situation wherever you live okay yeah so but um yeah i all right so i think personally it's good to have if this is your pistol let's say right that's your pistol and this is the end of the slide with the barrel with any sort of modern firearm semi-automatic or hammer fired if you push that slide back just a little bit and it takes the pistol out of battery this is what i made a video about the pistol will not fire now the only way that you can really overcome that is with a revolver because if you push against the revolver it's not going to take it out of battery or like a desert eagle design because that doesn't matter it doesn't matter with that pistol because of the way that it's configured um now if you have a flashlight protruding off the bottom of the slide like so and i'm pushing against the flashlight and i'm not able to push against the top of the slide it's not going to take the firearm out of battery and it'll continue to work and you're probably wondering well, why does that even matter well if let's say you're walking in a parking lot and you hear footsteps coming up rapidly behind you and you turn around and go to grab your pistol and as you're turning around there's some naked meth head in the safeway on south murray parking lot jumping on you with a bloody knife or a syringe and you go to pull your pistol out and you fall to the ground and he's laying on top of you and you go to pull the trigger and his body weight is pushing against that slide and it's taking it out of battery you won't be able to fire and if that pistol's wedged against your chest and he's on top of you doesn't matter how far you pull back it's not going to be able to go back into battery so if you have a flashlight or an extended barrel it'll prevent that from happening all right time for another giveaway everybody i'm not that important so we're going to go with another rapid engineering this is going to be the full extra full back strap right here i reload a lot of my 556 stuff nine mil okay well richard I'm, I'm gonna have you email me and we'll start a conversation then about reloading um yeah bro oh absolutely absolutely yeah don't use the administrator absolutely don't use your light to walk your dog to to work on your car the one i mean ken hackathorn and 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 what's his name uh masada yub or whatever his name is uh they, they brought up a very good like an old photo when the police departments started putting pistol lights on their on their their carry pistols 
and there was somebody that was injured and there was a picture like in a newspaper and there was like a, an EMT assisting a person that was injured and the police officer was using his pistol's flashlight to illuminate the person for the EMT. I don't even care if the cop took the batter or took the magazine out and took the bullet out of the chamber. That's a no-no, right? That's a no-no. All right, now going back into the giveaway. Okay, so this is the full length. So this is going to not only improve the grip angle on your Glock to more of a 1911 style grip angle, improve the shootability, the pointability, it's gonna give you that extended back beaver tail, but it's also going to increase your length of pull. So if you have bigger hands, it's going to pull your palm further back, allowing this trigger finger to get more real estate on the side of the pistol and also opening up the left side or your non-dominant side for, for your, your, your other hand to get more flesh and give you better control. If you guys haven't seen the videos that I've done about this, this really did improve my accuracy a lot and actually allowed me to control the pistol a lot more. Okay, okay. Yeah, and they do help you from riding the, the slide stop. Absolutely. Okay. Once again, BTL into the into the um, chat. We'll go a little bit longer this time, so that way if somebody's behind, they'll have a chance in actually getting in there. Okay. Hey, Acorn, where? So, um, another thing while while people are putting BTL in, and you guys are filling it out. What type of competition? Because one of my New Year's resolutions was to do a competition, a live comp, or not live, but do a competition this year in firearms. What what kind of competition? Don't do it until we after the giveaway, but think about it. Would you guys like to see me do or try two gun, three gun, 22 long rifle, pistol, long range? What type of stuff would you guys be interested in, in hearing about Big Timber, you know, participating in? All right. That's enough time. So in three, two, one. All right, Killing Nova. Killing Nova. Congratulations. Killing Nova. Congratulations. Let me pull that up, put that on the thing. Killing Nova. Full uh, backstrap. All right, there we go. Boom. Congratulations, Illinova. All right. Uh, man, I brought, I made another screen. Hold on, where is it? Discussion screen with screen share. There we go. Let's do this one. Uh, nope, nope. Screen share, no, web chat. There it is, webcam with chat. That's the one that I made. Ah, now you'll actually be able to see me pointing to the correct name over here. Um. So I will point to the name as it comes up this way over here. That'll make this easier for you guys to see. Congratulations, Killanova. Nice, Richard, thanks. Yeah, Richard, I'm gonna have to check that out. Richard, I do want you to start an email conversation with me uh, and we can discuss getting into reloading or what I need to do. I've got a really good friend, Austin, Austin uh, with Reloading Weatherby, but he's a little bit more advanced in the reloading world. That's his whole content is based off of reloading and he's a fantastic shot too and a wonderful human being. So, okay. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, big dog. So congratulations. We have two winners so far. We still have four more backstraps to give away. Uh, but I do want to. I do want to kind of hear. You like to see some content of training. What do you mean by that? I'd like to see content of training. So, do you want to see me do more training videos? Because I've show, I've done some videos about my my training for uh, appendix carry. You know, quick draw, two in the chest, one in the head. Let's shoot some traps and clays. I can do that. I have a Winchester Model 12 pump. I also have a. Mossberg 410 as well. Yeah. Blue Ridge Critter. All right, man, dude. Thanks for stopping by, big dog. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Go to training at different facilities. Oh, 
training at different facilities. So you would like to see me like go to different training and then and then film it and like film my experience. Do a house clearing video. Okay. I could do some tactical stuff. It's just, I, I don't like, I have the knowledge. I have friends that are in the industry of being tactical. I work with keep chit-chatting with you and then uh once i i count down then i'll turn around and um whoever's name i'm pointing at then we will um give it to them so yeah guys this is kind of fun and once again rapid engineering provided all of the backstraps for this 10k sub party today for free so he has a youtube channel he has an instagram but just show him some love i will figure out a way to link his stuff in the video description um so that way you guys could show him some love and just let him know you really appreciate everything he's doing for the channel right now all right guys so i'm going to turn my head 
I'm gonna start counting to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, shoot, my finger's not there. All right, so Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge. All right, Blue Ridge was where my finger would have been. <laughs> Whoops. Congratulations, Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge Critter, you are now the winner and owner of a Rapid Engineering Extended Beaver Tail. Let me go ahead and put you down on the list. Please send me an email. All right, please send me an email. And uh, we will start that chain on how I'm going to mail you your backstrap. Congratulations, your extended beaver tail. So I would love to be able to give away a whole bunch of the Big Timber Lodge t-shirts that are being made by my buddy East Bay Gaming. Shout out to East Bay. Shout out East Bay Gaming. Doc, Dr. Disrespect actually shouted him out on a live stream. You don't know who Dr. Disrespect is? You are failing in life. And if you're not following East Bay Gaming, you are doubly failing in life. It's one of the best nighttime streamers out there. But I will be giving away one of these shirts to a lucky winner here soon. And it's not that shirt. It's going to be whatever size fits you. I would love to be able to give out a whole bunch of those, but they cost me a lot more money than free 99. So, <laughs> but, um, so let, let's, let's get a little bit of chat going right here. Uh, about nine millimeter nine millimeter has been dominating the EDC realm for years now. I remember about 15 years ago, there was a big debate going on of, is it 45 ACP, 40 Smith and Wesson or nine mil? And due to ballistics testing, upgrading with bullets and the capacity of the nine millimeter, the nine mil just took over. And that's what everybody carries now. Doc is a legend, Nemo. Absolutely. Do you think, do you think that the nine millimeter will be dethroned? Who's gonna be at the top of King of the Hill here in let's say five years? No, let's go one year. So do you think 9 mil will still be King of the Hill in one year? Do you think 9 mil will still be King of the Hill in five years? And who do you think will be King of the Hill in 10 years when it comes to cartridge for personal defense? Because I was a 40 Smith & Wesson guy due to the FBI. Yeah, if it's free, it's for me. Absolutely, Richard. Yeah, 9 mil for life, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, what what's the old saying? Nine mil kills the body, 45 ACP kills the soul, or is it 10 mil kills the soul? I'll ask him, yeah. No, it's, it's nine mil kills the body, 10 mil kills the soul. Yeah. Hey, question. In regards to our Colorado assault weapons change charge, what happens if we were to pass away? No, you cannot. So Nemo, that's, uh, that's one of the big sticking points about the assault weapons ban is that if they pass the Colorado assault weapons ban, it will make it illegal to sell, purchase, or transfer any of those weapons, which is around 95% of the weapons in the, in the sold at gun stores right now in the state of Colorado. Now the transfer portion does mean to your kids. So technically, if you and your wife are married and you have children and you pass away, your wife can have them because joint ownership, right? And, but if your wife passes away, then you can't transfer them to your children. Now, the, I think with the workaround for this, and don't quote me, but this is a workaround. This is a federal workaround for that type of situation because this is a great question, is a trust. If you have a trust set up, then whoever's on that trust can then have possession of those weapons. Now, the question though is, Will you be able to put somebody new onto that trust after the ban goes into place? So that's a, that's a question to have with an attorney right now. If you have children and you don't want to leave the state of Colorado and they're looking at passing this ban, if they pass it, they want to pass it and have it go into effect this July. I, if they pass it here in the next couple of months, it'll go to effect in July. Supposedly that's what they want. Um, and I would talk to an attorney if they do decide to pass it and you wanna make sure that your children will be able to have your firearms so that they, you can potentially set up a trust and, and mitigate that because by setting up a trust, it makes everybody the owner of that said item. That's why we do NFA tax stamps that way. So my wife is on my trust for all my fun stuff. Let's just leave it at that. All right, 
enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and um, go ahead and give away another full backstrap by Rapid Engineering. Hope you guys are enjoying this stream so far. All right. Okay. Okay. Second ad you've gotten tonight, huh? Weird. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. My YouTube overlords just know that I'm throwing out fire content. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get those BTLs going into... Oh, wrong way. Okay, so I got to hold it up higher this time. What I'll do is I will hold it like this because that way I can't see the, sh I can't see the screen, but I can make sure that my finger is still in the screen. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Come on, get those BTLs going, guys. Get those BTLs going. If you want this rapid engineering full length backstrap, get those BTLs going in the chat. BTLs, BTL. All right. So yeah, man, really, really want to just say thank you to Rapid Engineering for providing six of these backstraps to give away tonight. I'm just so, that just, I really want to see that guy's company takes off. I really actually want to see him start making these for other Glock pistols, some of their full frame pistols, because that would give those pistols a better grip angle. All right, so we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. It looks like EDP every day. That's who I was pointing at. EDP, EDP. Congratulations, brother. Go ahead and shoot me an email and we will get that going. Let me put you down for a full backstrap. All right. Okay. Congratulations, EDP every day. Hey, don't be upset. We still have four prizes to give away. I still got another beaver tail and another full, as well as the t-shirt and then the grand prize, which if you're new to the, to the stream, I'm giving away the one leaf commander NV 400 4K night vision rifle scope. So very excited to be giving that away. Hope you guys are having fun. Um, you know, really, really enjoy this community that we've built up together. I don't want to say that I've built it. It's been built up together. I'm just the, uh, you know, the, the, the circus at the clown that you guys are coming to see, but you guys get to have some fun together. I love the community chat that we have too with everybody. I really do appreciate that. And I, I hope that if this channel does ever take off, we get to keep that sense of community. You know, it's not just going to be some other person's channel where you leave a comment and they don't ever respond back. I try to respond to every comment that I can, as long as it's not degrading. Um, you know, even if it's degrading, sometimes I just try to respond back with a little bit of, yeah, <laughs> the beard of movement. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't really care. You can't kill me on the inside. I've served in the military for nine years. I'm already dead on the inside. I'm just waiting for the body to keel over. But you know, if you if you insult my my wife or my kids or my family or my friends or my viewers, like if you guys get into like a little bit of a you know, tiff back and forth, like I disagree with you, that's dumb. I don't mind that. But don't come at any of those five groups of people for me. Otherwise, I'll just ban your ass from the channel. That's that's the for the facts. I'll just ban you from the channel. Uh, the piano. No, no, I actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some communities do get toxic. Yeah, but I'm I'm an I'm a ultra troll. I, I can get super toxic back. I actually got banned from Sniper's Hide for being too toxic of a troll. So if you've ever been in Sniper's Hide 10 years ago, you know that that was a pretty crazy place that made Call, Call of Duty lobbies look tame. So, um. I, I, I can I can give it back to the best of them. Anyways, all right. So let's go ahead and do another giveaway now. We are gonna do the nine four five or not nine four five rapid engineering extended beaver tail. I thought about giving away a nine four five industries holster to you guys. The problem with that is though, they're custom made. Like the the fanny pack itself isn't custom made, but the holsters are. And I don't know what your pistol is going to be that would go in there. 
and I don't actually have like a legitimate affiliation with them. They cut me a check once. Um, that was actually after I had that short hit over a million views. They said, hey dude, you sold us a lot of fanny packs. We're gonna cut you a little check. Um, and I've kept making them, but I'm not an affiliate. We don't really talk that much. Um, but I don't know. Maybe if I could work a better thing, they'd be able to give me a way to like give somebody a holster and get like a one freak IDEX card or something like that. On ch on screen chat stop. Weird. Okay. All right. Jason Rad is ready. Congratulations, Jason. I will not congratulations, Jason. You haven't won anything yet, but congratulations on your life and what's happening right now. Okay, so let's go back to doing this. All right, okay. And we're gonna put this right here. Okay, and let's do the BTL, guys. BTL, live it up. Live it up, BTL. If you want this 945 Industries extended beaver tail, improved grip angle for your Glock 43X and your Glock 48, I'm using the full backstrap on both of my Glock 43Xs and I will never shoot that pistol without it again. All right, let's keep it going. BTL, guys. All right, BTL. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Help me. Help me. You are the winner. Congratulations. Help me. All right. You get an extended beaver tail. All right. Okay. Congratulations, brother. Help me. You probably comment on more of my videos than anybody else. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. You guys are awesome, though. You're an awesome, awesome group of people. And one day, the goal... <laughs> is for my wife and I to actually own a lodge in the mountains um, where you can shoot, hunt, fish, camp. Uh, you know, it'll have a restaurant, probably a brewery, and it'll have cabins, and um, you'll have to be able to do, like, weddings and events there. And one day, I would like, if my channel got big enough, to actually host a in-person and I, and I thought about doing it in Vegas, but everybody does Vegas. And I want to actually be able to get together with my friends because I consider you guys friends, especially with how small my channel is now and how, how long you guys have stuck with me and seen me grow. You really are truly friends for me. But I'd like to be able to do an in-person, you know, not just a meet and greet, but actually like get together for like a weekend one day and, and, and hang out. I think that that would be amazing. So down at Pagosa Springs. Woohoo! Love Pagosa Springs. A veterans retreat for sure, dude. Absolutely, man. We'd have some like black horse stuff to do. Have some like team building exercises. Uh, have some guest speakers. Have some really good guest speakers come out. You know, that would be able to really share some awesome stuff with us. So that'd be really fun to see. Okay. Um, yeah, man. Help me. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Yeah. Have some like long range shooting competition. Have some competitions. So obviously shooting competitions have a range set up like maybe pistol, pistol shooting, and then maybe some like two gun or three gun and then have some long range shooting competitions. I think that that would be amazing. Maybe get some other content creators out there as well that, you know, could train uh, people, give people some good lessons people that I would actually trust to, to coach my viewers that I care about. All right, so not to keep this going too long, uh, got land northwest of Woodland Park out of the way and water and range out there with a the small cabin now. Richard, that is awesome, dude. That's, I, I so that's where I, my like private range is, is uh, it's not private, I don't own it, but I consider it private because nobody knows where it's at. You have to have a pretty rowdy truck to get to it but all of my outdoor videos that i go shoot at is northwest of woodland park richard maybe we could get together and go out and do some shooting scout it out yeah that's awesome yeah colorado surprisingly just before we get to this giveaway colorado is surprisingly one of the cheapest states to buy big land in it's it's surprising because it seems like everybody wants to move to colorado but it turns out a lot of colorado due to our high elevation is not really livable because there's 
the water tables don't exist across the whole state. And so it's very tough to like get to good water tables. Um, and so you could pick up 160 acres out here right now for $62,000 southwest of Colorado or southeast of Colorado Springs, uh, east of Pueblo. East of Pueblo. Yeah. 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 Richard, it's 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 a lot cheap. Yeah, I'm trying to get though, uh, when we build the lodge, it's gonna be in the mountains somewhere. We just don't know where it's gonna be at. So yeah, yeah. Colorado is one of the cheapest states to buy big boundary in. For now. For now. For now. All right. Okay, everybody. Let's uh get into this. We're gonna be giving away the last full sized grip from rapid engineering so if you have bigger hands and you want that better grip angle on your glock 43x or 48 and with the increased length of pull and you want that extended beaver tail so you don't get slide bite let me see those btls let me see those btls up there everybody black force is stupid expensive bro um but yeah all right come on let me see those btls guys BTLs, get them up there. This is the last rapid engineering backstrap that I'm giving away for the evening. Okay. All right, guys, last one, full size. Gonna increase your length of pull, get rid of that slide bite, give you better control and a much better grip angle. All right, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Joe Mo EDC. Congratulations, Joe Mo EDC gets the full backstrap. Please send me an email so we can start that chain. Congrats, Jomo. Congratulations, good friend. Um, so it seems like also too, one of the things that I, I love about what's happened with my channel is don't get me wrong, I love everybody that's a viewer, a subscriber that's from around the globe. We just had somebody in here from Finland earlier, which was amazing. I didn't even know that I was in Finland. I know I'm in Austria because Mr. Glock43X loves my channel. I wish he was watching this right now, but he's probably asleep. Um, and and I know that I'm in some other countries as well, but I didn't know I was in Finland, but I love the global presence. But one of the great thing that's happened with my channel since I've started doing the 945 Industries, you know, tactical fanny pack skits about Colorado Springs is I'm really starting to get a nice Colorado Springs local fan base. And I'm actually getting recognized in public now. I've had it happen a couple of times and it's been awesome. And I've had people reach out and they're like, hey dude, I saw you out in public, but I didn't want to come say hi to you. And that just makes me happy because I'm, a, I'm an approachable person. I don't look like it. I have really bad resting bitch face and I'm also a bigger dude. Um, I'm not really tall. I'm just a big dude is what it is. So, but if you see me out in public, you know, um, just as long as I'm not like in a stall taking a shit, don't come up to me there. But you know, if I'm out in public and as long as my child isn't having a meltdown or something, you're more than welcome to come up and say, hi, I would love to meet you all. So absolutely would love that. Okay. So enough self-promoting, but let's go ahead and give away the big timber lodge t-shirt. Yeah. Dude, I, I have one of those faces. I really do. I I am just a, a, you know, mirror copy that's been printed around the world probably like 17,000 times. I've, everybody's like, oh, man, I know you. Aren't you Travis Kelsey? I'm like, no, no. I get that a lot. I got that a lot during the Super Bowl at the gym. People are like, oh, dude, oh, my God, you look like Travis Kelsey. I'm like, no. Um, all right, so Big Timber Lodge t-shirt. Let's, um, let's, let's let's change it up a little bit now so first off yeah we got to get this back into the chat just to make sure if you would like to get a t-shirt you do not have to be 18 years old you don't have to be 18 years old for this one big timber lodge uh let me put in my email or big timber society at gmail all right make sure to email me at big timber society to register for the giveaways 
And also too, as I mentioned before, I am gonna start a weekly email letter, so I'm not filling up your YouTube alert. Yeah. Um, all right, so for the t-shirts, or for the, the t-shirt. All right, now I, I do need to say this though. Once I get to like 50,000 subscribers, if I'm making money and not losing money, I will start shipping these giveaways internationally as long as it's legal for me to ship something. I probably couldn't ship this internationally, but I could probably ship a t-shirt. Okay. I am seeing comments. So I've got, I've got my mainstream screen right in front of me, right? And I've got that little green box over here with the comments coming up there. It's a little delayed. And then I've got over on this side, on this screen is my uh, YouTube comments coming through that are more real time so all right um for this one let's see what do we want to do uh, you know what what kind of made it all for this channel was that was a glock so i want you to type in glock in the in the in the chat so start typing in glock in the chat All right, oh, wrong hand. All right, there we go. All right, let's see. Right about there. All right, I can't see. And start typing in the clock. If you would like to have a Big Timber Lodge t-shirt in your size that I will have custom made and shipped to your house, East Bay Gaming will be making this shirt. So major shout out to East Bay Gaming for doing this. Well, I'm going to be buying it, but East Bay Gaming will be making it with his company that he does this with. So, all right, just type in Glock if you want a shirt. Okay. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rusty Shackleford. Rusty, congratulations, brother. Don't be sad, though, folks. We still have the grand prize coming up. Congratulations, Rusty. We still have the One Leaf AI Commander NV400 coming up. Very excited for that one. Very excited. Congratulations. Yeah, dude, uh, the shirts are available for purchase. I will um, figure out a way. Let me see if I can figure this out really quick. And I need to type this in. Rusty Shackleford, congratulations. Please send me an email with your name and shirt size. Now it is a very soft cotton and it is a little snug. I wear a 2X in it. I have a 49 inch chest and like 19 inch arms. So if that gives you any frame of reference, um, let me see if I can get a link to my buddy's site. with the shirts. Okay. It is East Bay Gaming Store, and then let's go to shop, and then, uh, where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. So he has men's and women. All right, and see if this will allow me to put this into chat. All right, let me know if that, that link went in. Looks like it did. So if you'd like, if you didn't get a chance to take a shot at the shirt. He also has some really other cool designs, fun designs. He does graphic design. He's the one that designed the logo, my ugly face, into the logo for the Big Timber Lodge. So thank you, East Bay Gaming, for doing that and always supporting me. He really helped me out. I don't know. I, he's not even in the chat right now, but he is an awesome person. He is a fellow gun-loving, red-blooded American who lives in the East Bay of San Francisco. And it's not by choice. It's because that's where he was raised and his family is there. And he is essentially a political prisoner is what I consider him. So, because he's stuck there. 
unfortunately. So this one's for you, East Bay Gaming. Cheers, brother. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and just give away the grand prize. We've been going long enough, a little bit over an hour. And I know y'all got more important stuff to do versus sit here and listen to me chit chat with you. Um, and I want to go spend some time with my family. So uh, yeah, this is a big one. Now for this one, I'm going to need you to do something for me. I'm going to post something in the chat. And I want you to subscribe to this channel. This is my wife's channel. And I'm going to be posting, I post stuff in here as well. But her channel is called The Wild Timbers, because I'm Big Timber. And she is taking care of our two daughters. So it's Wild Timbers. And if you can, please go subscribe to that channel so she could get more subscribers because she's trying to grow it. And if we could grow her channel, it's going to help us bring in more income to get better camera gear so we can do better production. It's all family stuff. My wife is a trad wife. If you don't know what that means, we are a traditional household, traditional family. We believe in God, guns, country, family, and love. And if you try to take away any of those, uh, let me introduce you to my buddy Smith and Wesson. Um, but my wife is a traditional wife. So if you have a family or wife or somebody that you want to share that with, please go and subscribe and share that with them to help grow her channel. She's uh, an amazing person. She really is, is the reason why I am who I am today and able to bring you this type of content is because of her. I wouldn't have any of this without her. So anyways, go subscribe to her. And let's see. Let's see, what do we do for this? I need you to subscribe to her. And then also make sure you send me an email at bigtimbersociety at gmail.com with your name and the state that you live in. And then also you have to be 18 years or older to get this. I think this is legal in all 50 states. I believe so. But um, yeah, this is the 4K recording. Commander NV400, 4 to 52 by 50. Night vision. And it does full night vision. We're not just talking like partial. It does partial night vision where it does like just ambient light night vision. But then it also has a um, illuminator that does like infrared and it works out to like hundreds of yards away. It's amazing. I just can't hunt with it here in Colorado and there's no point in me having this. That's why I'm giving it away. So let's see. Um, you know what I want you to do? Put your two-letter state designator into chat right now. So if you're in Colorado, California, Nevada, Alaska, whatever your two-letter designator is, put that into chat right now. And um, all right. Okay, let's uh, move it over here. Okay. Okay, let me see it. This is the big giveaway. Grand prize, everybody. Grand prize. Let me see those. Let me see those things. I can't actually see the screen right now, but let me see those. Let me see those two letter designators going in here. Come on. This is like a $700 scope. Just giving it away for you. I hope to see you use it on your channel or send me a video once you figure it out. Okay. All right. For the Commander NV400, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one gabriel 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 dominguez congratulations gabriel dominguez you are the winner of the grand prize one leaf ai commander nv 400 night vision scope everybody let's get a huge round of applause for our grand prize winner and the other seven winners that we had tonight congratulations let's see that let's see it up in the in the chat, everybody. Gabriel, I need you to shoot me an email. All right. And if you have not sent me an email yet, ND Gun Owner, Killanova, Blue Ridge, EDP Every Day, help me, Jomo EDC, Rusty Shackleford, and Gabriel Dominguez, I'm gonna check my emails right now 
And if I do not see an email from any of those individuals, we will be giving their prize away again. All right. Ooh, this is kind of spicy. This is kind of spicy. All right, there we go. Uh, beaver tail, all right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. One, two. All right. Um, Mary, okay. All right. Well, everybody, I, I, I hate to, to break your hearts, but all eight prizes were claimed officially by the rightful owners. Once again, thank you guys for coming out here with me tonight and celebrating the 10,000 subscriber mark, which is huge. The next big one is gonna be 50,000 subscribers. It feels like it's gonna be tough to get there, but according to my friends that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers or millions, once you get past 50, it starts to climb at a very rapid pace. So if you guys can help me get my channel out into the public, we could get to that 50K subscriber mark sooner and I will have another big prize giveaway with even bigger and better prizes than we had tonight for the 10K sub giveaway. So please do your part if you wanna see me get to 50K faster and share my channel with as many people as you can. If you think they'll like my content and also just thank you for being a part of the channel and part of the lodge. It really means a lot to me, everybody. And um, yeah, man, I just, I just can't say enough of how wonderful the community is that you guys have, have helped me build at the Big Timber Lodge. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening and a very safe and fun weekend. And um, till next time, peace.